The Family TV Mass is brought to you by Achievers Fuel and Service Center Corporation. Good morning and welcome brothers and sisters. We are gathered here to celebrate the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, the Pentecost Sunday, with the theme, More Fruits of the Holy Spirit. The Mission Communications Foundation Incorporated of the Society of the Divine Word, SVD, together with the Philippine Navy, brings to you this Eucharistic celebration at the Holy Child Chapel, Bonifacio Naval Station, Fort Andres Bonifacio, Taguig City. Our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Gilbert R. Likudan, Chaplain Service, the Station Chaplain, Holy Child Chapel, with Reverend Father Tyron S. Narisma, Chaplain Service, the Assistant Station Chaplain, Holy Child Chapel, Reverend Father Prismar I. Daguno, Sacred Theology Masters, and Father Eugene F. Castilla Jr., Chaplain Service, the Station Chaplain of the Naval Reserve Command. Our choir for today's Mass is the Naval Combat Engineering Brigade Combo. And as one community gathered in Christ, let us all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. The Lord be with you and with and your spirit. Friends in Christ, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, 
to my grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever preaching, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who by the mystery of today's great feast sanctify your whole church in every people and nation, pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth, and with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, fill now once more the hearts of believers through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please all be seated to listen to the liturgy of the word. First reading, Luke describes the descent of the Holy Spirit in tongues as a fire which rests on the apostles and filled them with courage to proclaim the goodness of Jesus. Pentecost marks the birth of the church, the new people of God. First reading and responsorial psalm, Lieutenant Junior Grade Belly J. M. Akana, Philippine Navy. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly, there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they are. Then there appeared to them thongs as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven, staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd. But they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded and in amazement they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each one of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs, yet we hear them speaking in our own native tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, let our response be. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are great indeed. How manifold are your works, O Lord. The earth is full of your creatures. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord be glad in His works. Pleasing to Him be my theme. I will be glad in the Lord. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Second reading. 
The Spirit is the band of unity. His varied gifts should lead not to division, but to unity and peace in our community. Second reading, Second Lieutenant Tiana Marie C. Gonzaga, Philippine Navy Marines. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say, Jesus is Lord, except by the Holy Spirit, there are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God, who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As a body in one, though has many parts, and all of the parts of the body, though many, are one body. So also Christ. For in one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. Whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of a one spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand for the proclamation of the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
Please all be seated to listen to the homily. Officers, enlisted personnel, beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, isang magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat and happy Pentecost Sunday. Ang Holy Spirit is the third person of the Blessed Trinity. It is a result of the love of the Father and the Son. Nosebleed, Father. Pero medyo wag natin masyadong laliman. Ang salitang Spirit comes from the word Ruach, breath. Hininga. Pag sinabi mong ruwa, hininga yon. Pag masamang hininga, bruha yon. Today, we celebrate the Holy Spirit. At ano po ang ating mga pagbasa ngayong nakajib sa ating celebration? Number one, balikan natin ang Acts of the Apostles. Sa mga nagbabasa po sa Biblia o ng Biblia dito, ang Acts of the Apostles is one of the most wonderful books written in the New Testament because it speaks about our faith. At ano pong nakalagay sa Acts of the Apostles written by St. Luke? Yung dating mga mahiyain ngayon, they will proclaim the good news with joy. Naalala ko po mga five years ago, I had a classmate whom I did not meet for some years at nakita niya ako na nagpipreach sa isang simbahan. At pagkatapos ng misa, hinila niya ako sa gilid at sabi niya sa akin, di ba, Chris, classmate, sabi niya, nung high school tayo, di ba mahiyain ka? Sabi ko, oo. Hindi nga ako gaano nagsasalita. Tapos tinitigan niya ako ng gusto at ng medyo matagal. At sabi niya, e ba't ngayon nakakahiya ka na? Mga minamahal na mga kapatid kay Kristo, what is the celebration of the Pentecost today telling us? We celebrate Miracles. Miracles happen from these timid, difficult, hard-headed people. When the Holy Spirit blew into them, there were tongues of fire and they spoke languages. Beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, believe in miracles. Because through the Holy Spirit, miracles truly happen. So what's the celebration of Pentecost? We celebrate miracles. We pray that as you say and as you celebrate this Mass, and you join us in this Mass, you experience the miracles wrought by the Holy Spirit. We go to the second reading. Anong celebration ng Pentecost para sa atin ngayon? Anong nangyari po sa mga taga-Kurinto? Well, you might be very impressed with people of Corinth because sa Corinto at that time, sila yung mga taong mga matatalino. It's the center of philosophy it's also the center of sciences, but it is also the center of immorality. And kakabit ng immorality na yon ay naroon din sa kanila yung pagpapataasan ng ihi. Ay, mas magaling ako, mas magaling ako. And St. Paul tells them, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. At ano pong sinabi dito ni St. Paul? Magkakaiba man tayo, pero dapat magkakaugnay tayo 
at magkakaisa. Anong kasing saya na dito sa Philippine Navy, ngayon nagkakaisa tayo. This is the celebration of the Holy Spirit. When we are united, it is the Holy Spirit that unites us. Mind you, madali lang ho magwatak-watak ng tao. Ilalagay ko lang sa inyong argumentong anong nauna, itlog o manok. Sigurado mag-aaway na tayo dito. Eh. Yung isa, itlog. Yung isa, manok. Baka mamaya, magpapatayan pa tayo. But today, God reminds us through the Holy Spirit, you and I can be united. So the second celebration or the second reason for the celebration is that we celebrate today our unity in the Holy Spirit. Finally, sa gospel ngayon, kung titignan natin ang konteksto ng Ibanghelyo, konteksto ito ng takot sa mga sundalo dito na narito ngayon, madali nating maintindihan yung takot. Kapag feeling natin we are threatened, naroon ang takot. Pero ano pong naranasan ng mga apostles? They were threatened by the Jews and other external forces. And they were inside a room. And here Jesus tells them, Peace be with you. Receive the Holy Spirit. Who sins you forgive are forgiven them. You sin, who sins you retain are retained. Nung tayo po ay nasa catechesis mode, anong sinasabi sa atin? Merong gifts of the Holy Spirit. Merong fruits of the Holy Spirit. Pero today, we receive the Holy Spirit. And that Holy Spirit tells us, and gives us a lot of peace. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid kay Kristo, the third reason of our celebration today is the Holy Spirit. Brothers and sisters, we continue to rejoice that the Lord has given us this church to always celebrate these three gifts of God. Number one, Miracles. Number two, unity. Number three, peace. Receive the Holy Spirit and experience miracles, unity, and peace. Happy Pentecost Sunday. Amen. Please all stand. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of, of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the God Father Almighty. From there, he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Prayers of the faithful. Let us ask the Heavenly Father to fill us with the Holy Spirit who will aid us in our weakness and be our advocate and guide. Full of trust, we pray through the power of the Holy Spirit. Listen to us, O Lord. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, listen to us, O Lord. Fill the hearts of our church leaders with your spirit, that they may discover their charismas in order to actively participate 
in proclaiming your truth to all. We pray. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, listen to us, O Lord. Send your spirit to government and civil leaders and rekindle the fire of their hearts, that they may use their power and authority in the service of truth and liberation of our people from poverty. We pray. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, listen to us, O Lord. Fill our consecrated men and women, missionaries and workers of evangelization with your spirit, that the good news of salvation may reach the whole world and people may come to know you and your Son, Jesus. We pray. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, listen to us, O Lord. Send your Holy Spirit to comfort the elderly, the sick, and the dying, and to give eternal life to those who have died, we pray. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, listen to us, O Lord. Let us now pray for our own personal intention. Let us pray to the Lord. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, listen to us, O Lord. Father in heaven, listen to your people gathered in prayer. Send us your Holy Spirit and transform us as you transform the disciples at Pentecost. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please all be seated for the liturgy of the Eucharist. May we request our sponsors to please bring the offer to the altar.
please all stand. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice. Graciously lead us into all truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion. You bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children. By uniting them to your only begotten Son, this same Spirit, as the Church came to birth, open to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of one faith. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Oscar Jaime, our Apostolic Administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with your Father, and peace to everyone.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be here. Those who wish to receive the Holy Communion may now come forward, while the others may remain seated. After communion, let us pray. O God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, safeguard, we pray, the grace you have given that the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force and that the spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. For the family prayer from the Philippine Navy family, Lieutenant Rostian B. Caranza, Philippine Navy, Captain Alex B. Capos, Philippine Navy Marines, Yeoman First Medel R. Ramirez, Marti Philippine Navy, and Mrs. Jovi Atanza. God, God, God our, our, our Father, Father, loving and merciful, bring together and keep all families in a perfect unity of love and mutual support, and infuse in each member the spirit of understanding, forbearance, and affection for each other. Keep quarrels, bitterness, and pitiness far from them and their occasional failures instill forgiveness and peace. May the Many mutual love, love and, and affection of parents, of parents be a source of loving obedience and discipline. May their chastity and fidelity be an inspiration for their children. Install in children such self-respect that they may respect others, obey their parents, 
and those in authority and grow in mature independence and a tender joy of friendship. Make the mutual affection and respect of families a sign of Christian life here and thereafter through Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen. Please be seated for a while for some acknowledgement. On behalf of Reverend Father Ben San Luis SVD of Mission Communications Foundation Incorporated, we would like to extend our sincerest gratitude to the following for making our family TV Mass possible. To the Philippine Navy, under the leadership of Vice Admiral Robert A. Empedrad, Armed Forces of the Philippines, the Flag Officer in Command, Rear Admiral Gaudencio C. Collado Jr., Armed Forces of the Philippines, the Vice Commander, and Rear Admiral Eric A. Kagawan, the Chief of Naval Staff, our Navy Chaplain, Reverend Father Benefranco M. Rada, Philippine Navy Chaplain Service General Staff Corps. Our Mass Presider, Reverend Father Gilbert R. Likudan, Chaplain Service. And all the can celebrated priests, to include the Brigade Chaplain, Lieutenant Commander Janice D. Bernal, Chaplain Service. Philippine Navy, which was not mentioned earlier. Thank you very much. And to all the other officials of the Philippine Navy, thank you. To the chapel staff, mass goers, lectors, family prayer, offerers, ministers, altar servers, collectors, Televiewers here and abroad, sponsors and advertisers, thank you and God bless us all. Let us give them a big round of applause. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Tapos na ang misa, palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Thanks be to God. Family TV Mass was brought to you by Achievers Fuel and Service Center Corporation, 